Hey, this is a Pronto 3000 remote control from Philips that stopped working. It had the classic problem of the touchscreen being non-responsive, but the hard buttons, like the volume control and mute, they all work fine. It was just the touchscreen. It turns out there's a connector on here that goes bad and doesn't make good contact anymore. So the touch screen does not work once this connector goes bad. The easiest way to fix this is to use a knife or a pen. And what you want to do is take the dark brown areas on this remote. That's these areas here. And just poke some small holes in that edge connector by just using a little bit of force with a knife with a very sharp point on it and just poke them two or three times in different areas in that brown area and that will clean the connection up so that it makes a good contact. Once I did that the remote started working again. I found this uh, comments on the Remote Central site. Taking the remote apart is not too difficult, but you will need a Torx screwdriver bit. You need a T6. These can be uh, purchased at Home Depot. I, I bought a Husky. And it's a T6. And there's four screws on the back of the remote that are easy to find in the four corners. Once you take the back off, there's one additional Torx bit that has to be undone in the center area here. Once you take that off, then you can remove the, the bezel. Be careful to keep the back in place so it doesn't fall out. There's a bunch of buttons in there. Now the only tricky part was removing this uh, green piece here. It gets stuck by the mute button. There's a little snap here that you have to push in in order to get that green piece out. The rest of it comes out very easily but it will get caught by the mute button so you have to work on that. Once you get this off, it's very easy. Just use a needle or a knife with a very sharp point and put very, four very small prick marks in the dark brown areas on that edge connector. And then your remote will start working again. Again, this was a Pronto TSU 3000 remote. And it's an easy fix. So if you have a dead remote, this is a way to resurrect it. Just be careful that you don't cut yourself when you make the, the points on the edge connector.